Good morning, good morning. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. All right, good. Perfect. All right. Give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to wake up here. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, I'm currently um, in a trade, actually, in um, gold. Uh, on these uh, evaluation accounts down here. Uh, it's off screen here. Here's what it looks like. Uh, right now, what you're seeing is you're seeing a, a gold on this uh, screen right here. Um, I'm trying to been trying to buy it off this 2041.4 level to go up to 2044. These purple lines are new. Um, you know, I've been drawing the cloud lines based on um, here, I'm going to show you guys based on adjust for contract changes. I've taken adjust for contract changes out and it gives me the purple lines uh, just so you guys know. I'm just testing it. So I actually just got filled on one of the contracts. <clears throat> My target is 2043.8, just right below that level right here. So that's just one. All right, the second thing is here is the dollar. I'm watching it, I want it to go down. So uh, gold typically acts inverse of it. But uh, as of now, so I'm watching gold over here. Over here, I've got the Russell 2000 RTY. I've been trying to buy off of this green line 2010.1. And over here, I have oil that I've been trying to buy off of 76.1. Uh, at this orange line right here. So that's all I'm really waiting on currently. Let me set all this stuff up a little bit easier. In fact, I'm going to move this, uh, the Russell 2000 chart off screen. Just too much stuff on here trying to fit on one screen. All right. <clears throat> I need to go get some to drink. My throat's so. All right, morning, morning, morning. All right, looks like we're about to get filled on my gold trade right here on these accounts. If I get 2043.8, let's see what happens. That means show me the money. Sorry, I had to, tell, I had to play with it this morning. All right, and it looks like uh oh, where'd it go? All right, give me one second here. All right, we got filled on my trade. All right, all right, sorry. Now I'm back in my rhythm here. Give me one second. So as of now, I'm expecting gold right here. I've been trading gold all week in these, these uh, so I have three funded accounts currently that I'm trading and all these are evaluation accounts. Some of them are close to getting funded here again. You know, I typically cash out my accounts every month. Uh, um, these I'm gonna run, I'm gonna try to get all these to funded stage and run them for a few months. Uh, 2044 right here, expect resistance quite a bit. Expecting it to trade back down here to 204140 level. Uh, these, this screen right here are my three funded accounts, which is what I'm planning on trading. I'm also doing some evaluation accounts. If you see it pop up, just can't fit it all on the screen, so it's off screen, but I'll move it over to show you guys. Uh, if I see anything happening in oil or the Russell 2000 or ES, here's ES. Here's some lines, just some, these are not cloud lines, here's some different li uh, lines that I drew. Uh, right now, it looks like uh, ES wants to break out. Curious what it does around this 5106 level, 5105 level for your ES traders. Uh, I'm not planning on trading ES at all. 
I may do it in evaluation account if I need to. Uh, I'm really concentrating on gold. Uh, I'm getting comfortable with it uh, as well as the Russell 2000. So that's what I'm planning on trading. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the chat. Uh, I'll try to answer as we go along. I'll be here till my plans to be here till 10 o'clock. Um, right now, I just want to go through, see what's happening uh, in on the. This is uh, the trade exchange. is my new service. As you can see, it kind of scrolls as we go. Um, I always start my morning off with the morning mash mesh ups. I'm going to pull that up, which is this basically, just so I can see what the news is for today. Uh, and we can see that this morning at 10 a.m. we have new home sales. Uh, we have to uh, don't expect a whole lot to happen here with the market. Uh, the five-year note auction may get some activity at one, but there's not a whole lot on the calendar. Um, so, which is uh, good that gold will, you know, kind of jump back and forth between levels, which is good for me because I can scalp it like crazy. All right, so we're right back up to that 2044 level. If we do break, break through here, then expect to, let's pull up a big chart of gold. And I'm sorry about all these extra lines. Again, that's due to the um, uh, contract changes off, contract changes on. Okay, let me just pull it up so we can see what happened this morning in pre-market. We can see uh, we tested pre-market, or that was really last night. Again, that 2053.2 level, uh, or this 2052.7 uh, level, which I've been talking about uh, in uh, on Twitter. Uh, then we traded all the way down to this uh, dotted line, which is a, a big cloud line with contract changes off at uh, 2039.6. Uh, then we tested this 2044 level and we've been kind of back and forth as high as 2046. If we do break through it and we get up here to 2046, uh, I may look to short depending on what the dollar does. But right now I'm really hoping that this uh, reverses back down to 2041.4 uh, where I'm going to put in a buy for now. And the way I do that, I just go here to my screen over here. Um, I think I already have one set. Actually, I'm going to move it to um, 2041.4, 2041.4. All right, so I got one contract at 2041.4, and I'm going to set another contract at 2040.5, 2040.5. And a third contract, which is my max normally, my funded in, in the funded account. Sometimes it may go up a little higher, just depending on what it does. At 2039.5, 20, 39.5. All right, we'll see if anything happens with those. All right, so we'll leave those alone for now. All right, um, let's see if there's anything else happening. Just watching the dollar. And oil, oil is, you know, oil can move quite a bit. I had it this morning. You see some uh, green right here. I've already placed some trades this morning on these funded accounts I bought yesterday. Um, well, these are actually a couple days old. These are yesterday. I bought some uh, oil at 76.1. You can see it right here off this big orange clout line. The reason why I have it so thick because it's a like long, narrow line. And the longer the line, the more it acts as support or bounces. So, um, and you can see right here, I actually traded it up to VWAP. I think I bought around here. I think I sold right there. And then again, I did it right there. So that's what you see the green on this morning. Um, let's see. All right. 2052.7 on the day. Can you show the 2052.7 level on the daily chart? Uh, well, it's going to be hard to see right now because it's uh, because I have so many lines up, but I will sh try to show you here. So this is the daily chart, uh, 2050 set. So this is with, uh, let me turn it off, make sure here, futures, adjust for contract changes. Okay. Okay. So this is my daily 2052.7. It's right here. Okay. There's a little itty bitty dip. You can hardly see. It's actually a candle in the way right now. Once this candle was on, there was a little dip here. I can zoom in on it, but it won't show. But it's small enough that it's there. Uh, and some of them, sometimes they're very subtle. Uh, you can see there's a little, just a little bit of a dip right there. Okay, I'll try to zoom in on it, but I don't know if it'll show. Right here. 
feet of dip. That's it. That's that 2050. That's that 2052.7 level right there. All right. So let me go back to this and back to that. All right. See, so, and this right now, this uh, this line right here, which is from, uh, I'll show you that one too, real quick. So if we go into our settings and we actually turn off adjust for contract changes. All right. And then I hit the daily chart, the daily, the, the Ichimoku cloud changes a little bit. Okay. And let me, I got to zoom in because otherwise the lines will drive you nuts. You can see there's a long flat right here at the bottom of this cloud. And that's what's uh, holding us up currently. Okay. And if we do get through that, then we're most likely going to test this next level in purple. So I'm testing it with contract changes and without contract changes to see what lines work better. They both work. Uh, so maybe we use both. It's just, you know, twice the work. Okay, for now, I'm going to leave my contract changes on because that's what I'm used to. Not that it matters. Go back to tingle right here. All right. Sorry, I talked to myself quite a bit. <clears throat> I have to remember that people are listening. All right. Hopefully that answered your question, BB. This is kind of subjected to a trade, but how do you wait for confirmation without getting filled too far from the current low? It's up to you. It's, it, it is subjective, uh, Lando. Uh, you know, the way I trade is, so let's say that you were a real big believer in this 2044 level and you didn't think it was going to go any higher. You wanted to place a short. So you go ahead and you place your short beforehand, just like I did over here with these buys, right? I'm buying them at my levels. And typically, I go one tick above the level, but for now, I'm just leave, putting the trades in right at the level. Uh, and then if it does fail, uh, you know, I have a build-in stop order like here. Uh, um, and I, normally, I just just based on the cloud line. So let's say I get filled in this 2041.4 level, then my stop would probably be, um, you know, it depends how much I want to risk. If it's only one contract, then I may wait till 2038.6. to depends how much risk I want to take. It's like poker hand, you know. So if this is the only trade you want to place and you think it's going to hit here and then jump up, then you can put a, then you can put a um, stop right below these two lines probably, like right here, okay, and see if it just bounces immediately. And if it doesn't, then you get stopped out. It's a low-risk play. Or you can make it a little bit more risky. You buy here and you set a stop below this level. You know, it's just all subjective. It's up to you. You got to figure that out. But I always like to try to place my trades along my lines. Like here is a line. If it gets above it and it goes to this next level, then it trades back down. All right. I will buy that. I will buy that at the 2044 level. But if it doesn't, if it reverses here, then I know that this 2044 is resistance, at least for now. So either A may look to short it back down to VWAP, or if it breaks through VWAP and goes back here to 2041.4, which has been support lately, I may look to buy that. If we break through below it, right now I'm okay buying here, here, and here. If it breaks below this 2038.6 levels, where I most likely will stop out. So as of right now, I have three funded accounts. These are about six days old. They're already in the money. Uh, at least these two are. At uh, you have to be a 52.6 to get the payout. Uh, this one still needs to go up a little bit. I'm just trading them normally. These are brand spanking new. Uh, I just bought a shitload of them you know, for 16 bucks. That still ends today, by the way, for 16 dollars. Uh, a contract it's an absolute no-brainer and then I, I typically do the $85 once they become funded you know I, I look I look to get it's a 2,000 percent return if you get paid guys so you know one one uh, one uh, account $16 you get uh, you pay $85 on top of it so you pay you know total of, say call it a hundred bucks if you get the payout it's two thousand dollars you know do the math you have to know what you're doing for sure. All right. So um, hopefully everyone had a good weekend. All right. ES is trading up to this level. There's not a whole lot of 
uh, news going on. Hopefully, I was hoping it was some 8.30 news, but I didn't look at it. So, um, right here, oil is bumping up against a clout line right now without the just contract changes, 76.52. So, we can see what's going to happen there. See if we revert if we reverse off of that. Let's see what else has been happening in oil this morning. Um, looks like we got up as high as seventy six point eight. So let me just zoom in on that. All right. So I'd like to see if we reverse here or not, and or if we're going to go up to here in reverse. And if we go through here. Then we're most likely going to go all the way up to 77.24, but I have a feeling this may reverse and test 76.1. And I have a buy order on at 76.1 actually in uh, in another account. Do you use Copy Trader for Ninja Trader? Yes, I do. You can see right here I have three of them actually going. Um, so I trade my funded accounts together right here, and that's what you see right here. These are the funded accounts, one, two, and three. Uh, then I'm trading uh, um, these one, two, three, four, five, six together uh, right here. And then I have a third copy trader going to trade these last uh, accounts, one, two, three, four, five accounts down here. So I like to do them in lots of five or six. So yes, Justin, I used to copy Trader. Big, big game difference. You know, at first when I was started with this stuff, you know, I thought, God, 20, 20 accounts is a lot to handle. And I would never put them all in one copy Trader uh, because it's just, uh, you know, all at once because if you blow your account, which, you know, I've blown plenty of accounts myself, uh, I get aggressive or bored. You know, I've had to learn to be patient. It's, it's actually taught me, it's helped my trading actually, surprisingly. Um, it's fun to do also with kids or whatnot, but it's uh, it's teaching you to be patient. Really, the only reason why I do it, and it's kind of fun, just to just a challenge. I'm assuming that's a paid service. Yes, it's. Uh, I use uh, the Apex Copy Trader. It's a. Uh, I think it's 150 bucks, one time. Yes, you can. You can run, run them. I run, you just click on them and it says another copier is trading. Like if you click on here and I go to copy, to Epic copier, it says, watch out, there's another copy work in the futures trader, but it pops up and then here it pops up and you can just do another one. Yep, not a problem. I don't know how many you can do, but I've owned, the max I've ever used is three and it works fine for me. Good morning, KJ. Alrighty, let's see what's happening here in ES. We are hitting, these are um, really a one hour, uh, this was uh, yesterday's one hour imbalance, high and low. And these were yesterday's last one hour high, high, last hour high, last hour low. So just using those right now not really i don't have any clout lines for for um spy or for um es or mes which is unfortunate because that's my favorite thing to trade i don't trade nq i think it moves too much it's more of a gamble it's uh it's just something that i a lot of people trade it but uh it's something that i stay away from mostly until i have lines and i don't have lines the only thing i have lines in are uh gold which is nice and consistent trading. You can see we're just bouncing up against that wall and it just will not go through. So most likely, and the dollar is not doing anything, it's keen to, we may not be doing anything until 9.30, maybe a boring, boring hour to wait for more excitement. You have to wait till 10 o'clock. So you can see the oil futures bouncing up against this line, this cloud line right here, and the reverse, well, we didn't quite reach it, but. I hate, well, I shouldn't say I hate, I dislike TOS. I think it's cumbersome. I love TC2000 much better, but unfortunately TC2000 for charting, 
Fortunately, TC2000 does not do futures. So I've told them to get on the ball, but they don't listen to me. I don't blame them. What's up, crazy? Alrighty. What are you guys trading? Tell me what you guys are trading. Anyone in a trade currently? Are you using cloud lines? Are you guys just learning or? By the way, just some disclosures. You know, this is, uh, you can see about, it's not investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor by any means. It's for entertainment purposes only. Uh, you know, futures are very high risk. You can lose all your money. Uh, I am currently trading basically, um, even though these are funded account, it's still off of a SIM is how these things work. Um, so I do trade a live account. Currently not today, but I do have them. Uh, but right now we are in more of a sim environment. Seems like the ES cloud lines were a lot more accurate for me. Where could I be? Uh, hold on. Let's see. Landon says, it seems like the ES cloud lines were a lot more accurate for me. Where I could be. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh, tight with my stop most days, but with gold, I can't seem to get a feel for it. Takes time. Gold, you need to spread it out a little bit more. You know, uh, ES, you can be tight because it's $50 a point. Here in uh, gold, it's uh, $10 each tick. So it's a little less. You got to make your gold stops twice as big as your, um, as your ES stops. Yeah, uh, Landon used a GLD. I tried that, but uh, I prefer uh, using it directly in the futures. It, it works fine. I mean, you can see right here the accuracy. I mean, right off that level, I mean, you can't get more accurate. And there's the downside. So let's see if we can test, going to test VWAP right now. This is on a one minute chart. And you can trade it in a one minute, a 15 minute, doesn't matter because the cloud lines are done on the daily, but they're all the same. On This is a 30 minute chart. It's all the same, guys. So people ask me all the time, well, why are you only trade in a one minute? It doesn't matter. See, it's the exact same. Same pricing, same chart. So in one minute, you just see it better. So that's what I prefer. God, I hate thinkorswim. So right now we're testing the VWAP. Love to get it down here and see what happens. Hey, good morning. I was wondering why you're waiting for the bounce on the 241 level instead of shorting 244 level. Because I am bullish. I do not want to short gold at the moment. And because uh, the dollar is down. That's really my leading indicator. See, if you take a look at it. It is down from up here, so you know that can continue to go down here. Instead, of, if it was up here trading up here, then I may look to have shorted it, but it's not. So, I'd much rather wait for the drop down and the bounce back up. Because also, on gold, you can see that on a uh, zoom out a little bit. Sorry, guys, but this is the cumbersome of. TOS. You can see that this morning we traded up as high as 2046.2. So if it breaks through this level right here, you can easily go up to here. So that's a you know 26 point move. That's $260 a contract from trading three contracts. You know that's eight eight nine hundred bucks. I don't want to do that. I much prefer it down here. You know even if I buy here and here, I can handle that. There's a pretty big gap here, so another reason. Let's go back in here. There we go. All right, well, we traded down the view app, and now we may retest this level, but I'm still going to wait. All right. I need a third. I need another screen. I'm actually working from home, so. Just got funded on two accounts, not in trade currently. I do. I have to make this bigger because I'm blocked. I don't use cloud lines, but see the value, and I like hearing your inside. Good. Congratulations, Yogi. Go make some money. All right. <clears throat> 
So let me pull up the Russell 2002. It's interesting. It moves a lot. You can see these are all lines that I did based off of, I uh, can't remember if I used uh, what I used here. I have to go back and look. But you can see how well the lines adhere. Uh, this can move real fast, real quick. This morning, this is a big, again, a big line, this green line. Um, I traded this this morning too off this level. I wish I would have held it, but I'm looking for this to come back down to this 2010 level. I like when, you know, when it goes down and we have a field breakdown and I can buy it. Field breakdowns are probably uh, the most profitable trades that are out there. They're much better than, uh, you know, trying to short a, a gap up. Uh, for me at least so that's what I prefer to trade if I can get it meaning that right here it's gonna break down then it fills and moves back up or it may feel may, may move down to here or here don't know that's a decision we'll have to make at that time all right sure So at least we're getting closer to maybe a possible trade if we can get down here. Oh, I'm gonna go back to a one minute chart change just so I can see it better. Not much happening in terms of news today. Oil is starting to sell off a little bit. I mean, if I can be impatient and, and get in this trade early, but, you know, if I go by now 2042 and it breaks down to 2041.4, I mean, that's uh, eight points, that's $80 a contract. You know, I can buy, buy it early if I wanted to so I don't miss it, but not worth it. And in these funded accounts, you know, all you need to do is go for, you know, 80 bucks, $100, $120 a trade. You do that three or four times a day, that's it. That's all you need. It adds up quick. There's, don't go for a home run. You know, with you can't go for a home run in, in, in this style. You don't have to tiptoe. They can't hear you. <laughs> My wife's tiptoeing to go to. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we'll try to cl uh, the cloud lines. You know, I uh, see all these uh, traders that use uh, structure and uh, and um, all that kind of stuff, and it's like you need an engineering degree. You have to use this to do that. I mean, I you know tried to learn it at one point or another, and I was like, this just keeps it simple for me. I look at it like a uh, like playing poker in a way. You know, I'm very unemotional when it comes to my trades. Um, if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. Um, you know, it just takes time to build the screen time and to get the confidence in your trades. That's really all it takes. I see so many guys try to study so much and overcomplicate things. It's really simple. I mean, you make a decision, you stick to your decision. That's it. And if you and then I see people go and tilt because they try to revenge trade or try to get it all back. Guys, stop. You know, if, if, if you know when you're revenge trading, walk away, shut it down. <laughs> My wife is stomping now. <laughs> My wife is embarrassed for me. That's funny. All right. I guess I should put my face on camera one of these days. I don't know what that was. Streaming tips. All right.
Any questions while we wait? I wish I had a cover pass from a few years ago when I first got started and a lot of people look down on the moon cuff. Yes, I agree. I agree, Yogi. Yogi says, I wish I had this cover pop firms a few years ago when I first got started. I know a lot of people look down on them, but man, that cost of tuition is much cheaper versus blowing up your own account. Yes. By the way, how's the quality of the stream, guys? Um, can you see everything okay? This is all new to me, you know, so you have to bear with me. I'll promise I'll get better. Any of you guys follow uh, Real Day Trading, Harry or Pete at uh, one, one option? All right, come on. I want to uh, place some other trades here as well. It's 2041.4. I'm going to move this up to 2041.5 because I like to get into a trade. Um, I am going to uh, trade um, some of these accounts here in the middle as well. If we can get action on gold, uh, so I'm doing off screen right here. I'm going to do three contracts on these. These are just a valuation account. So uh, 21.4. Didn't get it. Back up to view at. Yep, yep, yep. All right, well, that's what I figured. I actually got my start at one option. Um, that's where I first started trading equities when I uh, started back into trading. Uh, that's where I met Pete and, uh, and uh, Harry. And then Harry started real day trading and, uh, you know, I uh, jumped on board with him for a little while, but they stuck with futures. And when I discovered cloud lines, I went uh, straight to futures and I was sticking with futures because I don't, I like being able to concentrate on one product. Never looked back at equities since. You know, with equities, you got to look at 25,000 different charts and uh, make a lot of decisions and follow a lot of, uh, uh, you know, pay attention to a lot of things with futures. It's simple. I mean, you're looking at one chart, you're looking at one line. It's uh, here it is, you know, either it happens or it doesn't happen. That's it. Do you ever get, oh, no, he still owes me $14 somewhere around there. One day I'll grab it from him. Better believe I, I want my two dollars. They're great, but the equity game is. Uh, hold on a second here. They're great, but the equity game is was well, just going to say complicated. Yeah. I don't know how great they are. I'm just kidding. They're great. Respect them a lot. All right, maybe we're getting close right here. Come on, baby. All right, come on. Let me see here. I think I have a button that does bye, bye, bye. Hope you guys like that. I hate trying to force trade, bye. That's why I like stocks. You don't have to. Just find a different stock. I mm. don't know if I agree with that, but great traders are very patient. Look at it this way. If you don't get into a stock and you don't get a trade, just imagine that the trade was a loser and you would have lost $1,000. Reverse psychology. All right, guys, we may get us a trade here, and we may not. Here we go. We're very close. Boom. Bye, bye, bye. Here we go. We're in a trade right now. I already have an automatic uh, thing set up. It's just for uh, 
I'm going to have to move it. I want to move it to VLAP right here, which is going to be around 2042.6. I will move this up to right below it. All right, I have a stop at 2041. I'm going to move that down because even if we drop below here, I will buy more. So I'm just going to move it out of the way for right now. Okay. And I've also got executed in these accounts, but I brought uh, about three contracts there. Which is this one over here. Okay. That's these accounts here in the middle. All right. Then my uh, next buy will be if we drop down the 2045, I will buy that. And then I will buy the um, 2039.5. I will have a, a stop if it gets there below 2039.2. So I'm going to move that up to about, actually, I'm going to put it at 2938.5 just for now. All right, well, we're in the trade. Now we wait, see what happens. We've been selling off pretty good, so we may continue to go down, and I'm okay with that. Now, let's say this is the only trade you wanted to, to take, and uh, you know you don't want to take a big risk, a big, big, big stop down at this level right here. So you're stopping this particular trade if this is the only one that you're trading. Uh, you know, you could look at see what it's uh, been doing. You can see that. Uh, Probably this level down right here, 2040 right here would be a good stop, but that's, uh, you know, 15 points. So another one, if you want a tighter stop, you could look at, uh, you know, probably, I would probably drop it like right below this level here, which is 2040.9. But you got to give it some room, guys. That's just the risk that you take. Okay, let me move back. So right now, we probably, um, if we were to bounce off this level, the first, we're going to have some resistance right around this level where we got a 52, this is a 52 simple moving average, and we have a 26 simple moving average, So, and we have VWAP all converging here, so we're probably going to test that up here, which is... Uh, for you know 2042.6 i'm probably going to test this level first the dollar is rising so i do want to be conscious of that so we could have if this continues and goes above here that's another way to get out of your trade if it gets above if the dollar gets above this uh let's call it 10380 level all right i'm just going to add another contract here maybe if we get it. <clears throat> Oil's rising up. And if I do get filled here at this set, 2040.5 level, then this particular contact I will sell 2041.4. Just FYI. How to get into trading. Uh, something I always was interested in, even as a kid. Back in my day, when I was a kid, 
Only we didn't have uh, internet, you know. We had to go look in a newspaper and follow stocks that way. So that's how I started, looking in a newspaper. I remember Cisco was like trading at like four bucks, and I said to my father at the time, I think you need to buy this. And uh, I mean, this was, I don't know, can of remember, maybe 1980 something. And uh, he said, uh, okay. Uh, he never bought it, but I followed it in a newspaper, and every day it would be like up 25 cents, 26 cents, and you would chart in a notebook. And then you would have to call your broker, and you have to pay huge commissions. That's how I started. Not like it is today. All right, well, we missed this trade at 2040.5 right here by a tick so far. To add to it, so, but you have to stay patient. Now I would like to see a reversal back to this 2042.5 level. First news event of today is at 10 a.m. It's housing. Uh, at 1 o'clock, there's a five-year bond auction that may have some effect on gold and the dollar. Dollar keeps rising, but as long as we stay around this level, I'm okay. You can see that this morning, dollar got as high as... Um, dollar four somewhere around there or i'm sorry yeah 104 you know i'm looking for this level right here to test so we may we may go down here all right we got our second second fill so i am going to now move up one of these contracts decrease price to 20 to uh, 2041.4. I'm going to go one tick below, which is this level right here. And then my last contract is 2039.5. Uh, if it gets filled, then that'll be then I'll look to 2040.5 to get out on that one. And then I'll just watch the trade, and if I adjust accordingly, I'll adjust accordingly. So three is my max on that. And then my stop will probably be somewhere below this 2038 level. And if I lose, I lose. There's the third one. I want to make it stopped out here. 2038.6. I need it to hold. It's a good buy. I will buy some more over here at this level. Because I like it. And these are funded accounts. So even if I blow these, I would have blown one, two, three, four, five, six accounts. That's six. That's uh, seventy-two dollars, guys. Seventy-two dollar loss. Just buy six more. Try again. Um, one, two, three. Oh, we're gonna get stopped out. I have to wait. All right. Stopped. All right. We are stopped out. Now we have to wait. Now we have to wait till this dollar resets and then we can try it again. That is trading.
would love for it to go down now to 2034 and buy it. That's where I've been buying a week. Of course, now it's going to reverse right off this level. Okie dokie, let me see what um, R2Y is doing, nothing. Yeah, so it looks like uh, up here. In this funded account, I'm going to go ahead and just go for the gusto. If I blow it, I blow it. But uh, I am going to re enter this trade here. Yep, right there. All right. So I've re entered on this account with just two contracts over here. I am going to uh, look for um, 2041.4. Forty one point four on one contract. And twenty forty four on the second. Right below it. So I'll just let those two go. Questions? guys just wait and see right now
Okay. We're just sitting here waiting. We got 10 minutes till the market open. Right now, gold is forming somewhat of a bear flag and uh, the dollar's not really dropping, so it's a little concerning. But seven point two thirty five is where I'd love to buy it, but Just kind of wait and see mode, mode now. 237.237.2 Alright, I'm going to go get some to drink. I'll be right back. Right. All right, guys. We got eight minutes till the open. Here's the pre market movers list. Uh, I don't know how to make that bigger. I can't even read it myself. Before you stock trade or so, I don't know. All right, just leave that there. All right, hey, good news. The dollar is not breaking out its range and dropping, so maybe we get a little jump up here. Maybe not. We'll find out. I'm currently trading three contracts in these, trading three contracts in those, um, and one contract over here. Right now, I'm just looking for 2039.3 on one contract in each account, uh, and then we'll ratchet up from there. Or if we drop down to 2037.2, I will look to buy one more contract in each. And I have a stop slightly below all that stuff at 36.7. So now I'm down uh, 500 bucks in these funded accounts, um, which, uh, you know. I can make back pretty quick actually, but I can also lose it. <clears throat> what did it say? Control plus mouse scroll. What does that mean? T 
takes about around seven days to get funded, correct? Correct. Right now they have a uh, sale where you can actually get funded in one day, but I believe that expires today or Tuesday, tomorrow. Tur the 90% off uh, ended yesterday. It's now 80% off, and I think you can still get funded in one day if you go for the gusto. Otherwise, it's seven days. If I get funded in one day, great. I don't aim for it. You start over trading and start going nuts. It's not worth it. All right, we did take a little bit of profit on that one on this little jump up. So, you know, trying to get, uh, <coughs> trying to get uh, some of it back. Back down to that uh, 38.6 level. Fortune, I don't see anything else trading. Filled on it. All right, it's just a waiting a waiting game. Sometimes trading gets real boring. What are you guys trading right now? Through here, back in a trade, 28.36. Oh, I got accidentally bought two contracts. Didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. 28.36, Right there. And this. Yep, we're going to get right back down to these levels. So, I am going to load the boat. Either we're going to explode or we'll have a good trade.
dollars jumping right off of that. Uh, simple moving average. So my stop for all this stuff will be two, three, three point six five. And if I lose this trade, then I'm basically done for today. 20.35, we're in. And we should see a jump. I need to move this down. Decrease price. 20.37 is just that sell. Right there, one. I have one at that 20.37. Set these up easier. Okay. I already have one there. 38.6. Right there. And So these, these accounts I actually blew on the trade. So I have to buy one, two, three, four, five, six more, which I'll do tomorrow. So it's not going my way, but that's okay. So basically by losing these accounts, just so you know that happens to all of us, uh, you know, I lose out on $16, $16, $16, $16, $16, $16, I'm very aggressive with them. I mean, I was trading a lot. And here we go. Right now, it's going back in my favor. You can see how quickly it reverses. Oh, I didn't, forgot to buy some actually over here. Sometimes it's just timing. You know, I knew this 2035 level has been big the whole week, but it happens. I'll wait to trade around 10 a.m. and keep an eye on RTY. Nice. That's smart, too. Ah, I missed the oil trade and went all the way down to my level. Damn it. I didn't even watch it. Got too much going on. It's hard to trade live and looking at everything. moving this down just slightly to 38.
Maybe I should just have music playing in the background. You guys can just watch my screen. Wow, damn, I missed that oil tray. That would have been a good one. All right, I'm looking for gold to reverse. I'm looking for gold to reverse. I'm looking for gold to shoot back up to this 39 level. Watch it happen. Come on, baby. I don't need music. I actually like hearing the birds. Oh, you can hear him? Oh, that's funny. I have my door open to my deck. So I live in a townhome up high, so um, my dog can go outside. It's funny. You can hear the birds chirping. Huh. Well, I guess it's sensitive, this mic. Can you hear the, the cars going by? The background noise is relaxing. Haha. Uh -huh. Yes, we can. Oh, wow. Damn, that thing is sensitive. All right. Well, good to know. All right, well, we do have the market open about eight minutes in. We got resistance at 2037, so. We do have the dollar dropping since the open. <clears throat> oh, sorry, telephone call. No, not at my, not in, I'm not in North Carolina, I'm at home. All right, yes, yeah, not doing much. All right, guys, I'm going to be on for another 20 minutes, or at least till this trade plays out, I guess. So if you have any questions regarding clout lines or anything, Please feel free to see. You can see funded accounts, even good traders blow accounts, but that's how I trade these accounts. I will not re up these uh, right now. I don't need to. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot to track. I'll wait till the next sale. I'll just concentrate on these. All right, here's my, here we go. We have another contact in range to get up. Oh, there it goes. What happened? Well, it was in range. There we go. Now it's in range. I see some resistance here at this red line, 37.7, so I may lower this just slightly to there. Darn. 
the Russell 2000 is, uh, I tried to buy it this morning at this level. It says a nice, nice bounce up. Right here, probably maybe some resistance at 20, 25.9. <clears throat> Sometimes trading is very boring, but it's supposed to be. I think I will add another contract over here, though. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. We have about 15 minutes left. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for that jump and go. Come on, let's do it before 10 a.m like to see us get back to this level right in here. We gotta get through here first. Sorry, I'm starting to eat and I forget you guys can hear everything. All right, this is what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and lock this one to there just to see if I can get it in. I still have one more contract here just on these accounts on here. I'm uh, close to getting at least this one funded. All right. Took some more profit, almost back to even on these accounts, so. Rinse and repeat. Sorry, you can probably hear me too. <laughs>
All right, here we go. We got that jump that we're finally looking for. Six, there it is. Do I take it or do I go for 39.3? Or actually, we can just go for 39 right here. Well, as of right now, where we are with gold, we uh, uh, took a trade this morning. Uh, we were down about 550 bucks. We're back about to even now if I were to cash this in, but I'm not going to because I want to make some money. Uh, we're up in these accounts. These were other evals accounts I got yesterday. I blew them and basically one trade. That's what happens. The nice thing is you can get aggressive with them, get them funded quickly in a day. That's what you do, but that was the stupid way to do it, but that's the way I do it sometimes, or try to, but that's okay. Cost me 70 bucks. Um, the rest of us just on fire. Here's uh, the ES minis. Looks like we got some selling off right here. This drops below 593, we can really drop. And here's the Russell. Did not have any resistance here. It's going right up to that next line. Make it right up here to this 2030.9 level. All right, guys. I hate doing these live streams. I'm sorry, but. Like talking to a wall while trying to trade to make it a little bit more fun. I'll get better. Any questions? You got about 10 minutes left. This 2836 level right here is going to hit, so I am going to take that trade. Just moved it down to that level um, right here. Actually, I'll probably do 2835 so we get filled. <clears throat> I expect that to hit. At what time do you start trading gold? Um, I trade what, what time? I mean, just trade it whenever you want. Trades 23 hours a day whenever it hits your levels. I actually started last night at 6 p.m. I took some trades. Uh, they were uh, uh, you know slow markets is a good time to trade gold uh, 6 p.m. to you know 10 p.m. typically and then in the mornings 8 30 to 9 30 typically although it's moving a little bit today uh, it moved on me a little bit too much today but that's okay um, you know, I think gold is a good time to trade any time. It just depends. Why trade the fun account instead of your own? I do both. 
I trade the funded account for you guys to show what how it's done. It was by request. And I like making 2,000% returns, you know. I've done it three months in a row. of average payouts each month about six to $7,000 a month. So investing, you know, somewhere around, hmm, give or take, seven or $800 each month, maybe a little bit more. So... Get to do with the kids too. It's a good way for them to learn. It's a good cheap way to learn how to really trade. It's a, you know, instead of blowing up your own account, but I do trade my own account. Which as soon as I get off with you guys at 10 is what I'm gonna go most likely do. Yeah, I haven't had any issues with him. The issues are with people that don't follow the rules or that try to game the system or whatnot. You follow the rules, they're pretty lenient, you know. Will they at one point not pay in the future if everyone all of a sudden makes it? Maybe, you know, who knows, you know, I, I don't know. Wow, that uh, Russell 2000 just keeps on keeping on blew through those cloud lines. I mean, just blow through it, so 2038, 2041 next. It's hard to trade. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can easily blow up to here, but hard to trade to Russell. I typically don't. All right, well, it looks like we did not get my trade. Because the dollar is rising again. I'll update my end of day results on Twitter so you can see where I end up at. IB Trader Workstation. I don't use the interactive broker, so I can't tell you, KG. I, I don't know. I, I think I, you're the one that I've been uh, tweeting with, but uh, I, I don't know. Yours looks definitely different somehow. Sorry. All right, guys, with the dollar rising in this, I expect gold to uh, drop a little bit further, I will add. I remain bullish on gold, willing to hold it. All right, guys. A couple more minutes here. Yeah, sorry, KL. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to do it. I, I just, I'm not, I can't help you because I don't know. You just have to look at my charts or copy my lines and see. I, I don't know uh, why it looks a little different, but it did look a little different on the daily. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm gonna call it. Uh, good luck. I'll update it later. You can see gold right here. I'm not gonna add a trade unless it gets down to 2035. Um, well, I mean, I should add a trade right there, but gold is rising, so I think it may go up to here and then sell off, so we'll wait and see. All right, guys, I appreciate it. We'll see you later. We'll try to do it again at some point, try to make it a little bit more entertaining. I may try to do it in the middle of the day next time where we have a little bit more action. All right, guys.
Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, coming out. Please like it. Just 